Hey guys, welcome to the Droid Guy channel. How to fix Windows 10 freezing on startup. If you are experiencing issues with your Windows 10 PC or laptop freezing or crashing when you try to start it up, you've come to the right place. In this video, let us show you solutions you can do to fix Windows 10 freezing on startup. So sit back, relax, and let's get started on fixing your Windows 10 freezing on startup issue. But before we begin, we would appreciate it if you hit the like and subscribe button for more troubleshooting videos. The first solution is to disable Fast Startup. Fast Startup allows the computer to boot up faster by saving some system files and drivers to a hibernation file. However, this feature can sometimes cause issues, including freezing on a startup. Disabling Fast Startup can help resolve this issue by allowing the computer to perform a full boot up process. To do this, press Windows key plus R on your keyboard at the Run dialog box, type Control and press Enter to open Control Panel. Then at the Control Panel window, make sure View By is set to large or small icons. Now click Power Options. Then click the option. Choose what the power buttons do at the left pane, then click on the option Change Settings that are currently unavailable. Under Shutdown Settings, ensure the option Turn on Fast Startup is unchecked. Click on the Save Changes tab. Check if the computer issue is resolved. If not, move on to the next solution. The next solution is to remove USB peripherals. Another possible reason for a computer to freeze during startup is because of USB devices connected to your computer. Remove connected USB devices and then check if the issue still occurs. The third solution is to run an SFC scan. SFC, or System File Checker, is a tool on Windows that scans your computer for corrupt system files that may be causing freezing on startup to occur. It will then attempt to fix corrupt files if there are any. To do this, type the command prompt at the search bar on the lower left. Then select Run as Administrator from the drop-down menu for administrative access. At the command prompt window, type SFC scan now and press Enter. Wait for the SFC scan to complete. Next, restart the computer. Once the computer reboots, check if the computer issue is resolved. If not, move on to the next solution. The fourth solution is to perform a clean boot. There are instances when a third-party application can cause freezing on the startup issue. To fix this, try to perform a clean boot to check which app is the culprit. To do this, press the Windows key plus the R keys on your keyboard to open the Run box. Type msconfig.msc and press Enter at the Run box. Now at the System Configuration window, click on the Services tab, then check the option Hide All Microsoft Services, then select the Disable All tab. Now click on the Startup tab, then click Open Task Manager. Now click the Startup tab. Disable one by one the apps by clicking on the app and then selecting Disable tab at the lower right. Exit Task Manager, and then click the OK tab to confirm the action. Check if the computer issue is resolved. If not, move on to the next solution. The next solution is to update drivers. Outdated or corrupt drivers can also cause freezing on startup issues on your computer. Make sure the drivers are up to date to resolve this issue. To do this, press Windows key plus R on your keyboard at the Run dialog box. Type dev mgmt.msc and press Enter. Then at the Device Manager window, click Network Adapter to expand it. Right-click on the driver and then click Update Driver from the drop-down menu. Now select Search Automatically for Drivers. Once the best drivers are already installed, click Close to Exit. Next, restart the computer. Once the computer completely reboots, now check if the computer issue is resolved, then proceed to the next solution if the issue persists. The next solution you can do is to roll back driver. If updating drivers fails to fix the problem, you may need to roll back the driver. Rolling back drivers means reverting to a previous version of the driver that was working correctly. Here are the steps to roll back drivers. Press Windows key plus R on your keyboard at the Run dialog box, type devmgmt.msc and press Enter. Then at the Device Manager window, click Network Adapter to expand it. Right-click on the network driver and then select Properties from the context menu. Now click on the Driver tab. Click on Rollback Driver and follow the prompts. 
If rollback driver is grayed out, it means there were no previous versions of the driver to roll back to. Click OK to confirm and exit. Now check if the computer issue is resolved. And that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope this guide has been helpful. Please support us by clicking like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more troubleshooting videos.